Welcome back to my channel. This is another. What are we? What is this? What are we going on right now? Is this a date? Do you want it to be a date? Do we hold hands? We're we're past the dating part, baby. No, that's how marriages go in the hole. You have to keep dating even when you get married. That's what Preacher Stevie says. Shout out to Preacher Stevie. You got to keep dating. You got to treat me the way you treated me beforehand or I'm going to get rid of you. No, you're going to get rid of me. I'm going to get rid of you. Mm -hmm. So you better date me. Okay. You better treat me like a fine piece of meat. <laughs> so you want me to refer to you as a fine piece of meat? Only to, only to me. Not to innocent bystanders. Not to innocent bystanders. <laughs> what makes them innocent? We don't know them. You are innocent until proven guilty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, is this a date? Sure. Then hold my hand. If it's gonna kill you, God forbid. Okay, now it's a date. I am driving. You don't use both your hands. When you're not even using the one right now. I am. Your wrist was driving. Anyway. Damn. Where, where is it? Where, what? Where is the place? Tell them where we're going. Ow. Holden Beach. Holden Beach. I don't know the name of the seafood place. It's <clears throat> a little hole in the wall. Where is it? A little hole in the wall. If you are unfamiliar with what that phrase means, it means it's a little, like a little shack, like a little somewhere, one of those places you pass and you're like, oh gosh, I'd never eat there. It's but one, it is awesome. But it's one, you know, it's one of those places that um, doesn't get recognition, I guess, that it needs. So. I'm sure it does. Well, I for mean. For the locals. Yeah, for I the mean, locals, they know how good it is. It's a local one. But um, it's a seafood trailer. Um, literally a single wide trailer. It's literally a regular old trailer. Um, they have really, we only, we get just a shrimp um, platter, I guess. Okay. Like a regular, and we share it. That's how much um, large. shrimp. Yeah, large. Uh, large, my bad. They give you a bunch, a bunch. I would say that you couldn't eat it by yourself, but. I might could eat it by myself, but we share. Sharing. Or we could get a smaller piece. Ooh. 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 Ladies with us. Lady, you wanna say hey? Come here, ladybug. seafood is and you see how all these people have come I guess that kind of shows you how good it is when you see all these cars she's so nosy <laughs> okay 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 daddy's going to get mama's food. you want a small or see how big a small is call me Bye, Daddy. 
Can I mine? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh goodness! Oh goodness! Hey, hey! Calm down, lady! He's coming back! What did they say about food? That's 35 minutes. 35? Mm-hmm. We got to sit for 35 minutes? Oh, uh, did you see all the people in line? Yeah, you got to sit there for 35 minutes. <laughs> Her eyes start getting heavy. Okay, y'all. We finally got the food. <laughs> it is almost dark outside. How long of a wait do you think that was? An hour. An hour. That tells you how many people that were here. A lot of people oh. left and come back. Whatever that means. Here's the beach. That is the beach out that way. All of that is Walda. Walda, Walda, Walda. The last time we came, whoa, the last time we came out here, it was like super dark. We went to Taco Bell and got some food and we came out here to eat it. And um, a deer just ran up on us, scared the, the mess out of me. And it was dark. So if we would have been standing outside, he might would have just bulldozed into the side of me because he wouldn't see me. Mm. Look at that. Cocktail and tartar sauce. Yummy. Morning. It is Saturday. Um, it's the it's pageant day. If you've ever wondered what I look like first thing in the morning, here you go. It's 9:30. Cody just left to go to the woods to pick up some stuff. My hair is in somewhat of a pineapple. If you're a curly girl, then you know what a pineapple is. Um, but it's gotten so long, you know, it's hanging out in my face if I just leave it in a regular pineapple. So I had to like ball it over so it wasn't hanging all in my face. But anyway, um, I am actually getting ready to film. <laughs> um, so, uh, I'm going to make Lady some breakfast. She's looking a hot mess. I'm, I'm going to make Lady some breakfast, make myself some breakfast, and this is what she does. She's looking for Cody. Anyway, um, and I make me some coffee, and I'm gonna jump into that video. You will see the video I'm about to film. That video will go up Monday. So you will see that before you see this. So that video will be my um, DIY cleaning products. If you watched my um, Clean With Me mini house tour video, let me turn this way because that's, <laughs> um, if you watch my claim with me mini house tour video, then I mentioned, um, that I make a majority of the products that I use to clean with. So, um, in that video, I will be featuring, it's going to be a all purpose cleaner that I use in, in every room pretty much. Um, also my granite cleaner. I don't use the all purpose cleaner on my granite. Um, and also a DIY fabric refresher, like a Febreze. Go watch it. I will link it somewhere. Maybe there. So, yeah. That's all we're doing this morning. Hey guys, so, um, I have finished getting ready. And I've packed all of my things. Um, Cody's still in the woods. Uh, he thought maybe he would be able to get out before I left, but I don't think so. So I'll probably be picking up food on my way back and just bringing it for both of us because I'll be there for the rest of the night. 
for the pageant. Um, I am ready. I have on lashes. Can you believe it? These are, of course, my favorites. The Demi Wispies by Ardell. Um, I think it's Ardell. Right? It's Ardell. <laughs> anyway, um, and I freshened up my curls. But... I was going to show you um, my little kit of stuff. I'm also getting ready to film the intro for the video that I filmed this morning on the on the um, the cleaning products, which went well. Um, like I said, you'll already see that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now, and I'll be heading out here shortly because I haven't eaten, and it's like 2:30. <laughs> I haven't eaten anything all day. This happens a lot, um, but I have had coffee, so I'm going to stop and get me something to eat on the way there so I can um, relax and chill out before everything gets started. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Here's my little, my kit and stuff. Let me show you inside of my makeup. It's actually pretty organized because I never, I don't really do makeup anymore. So um, yeah, I really don't have a whole lot. A lot of mess going on in here so there's like all face stuff down there and lips and some eye stuff and just some sticks and some more eye stuff so yeah that's pretty here um phone charger she's borrowing some of my old pageant jewelry so i set that in there some of my business cards some candy some extra elastic hair bows some of my brushes and combs, get in there. Um, open bobby pins are down here. These are the closed ones. These are just a little elastic hair bows. These are some clips for pin curls. You can lift this up and out. And in here are all the makeup brushes, some hairsprays. Uh, there's some more down there. Some more of the little sock buns. A bag of open sesame of some clips and yeah I think that's all that's in there clips a surge protector to plug everything into I also have a heat protectant mat and also this other mat to put some makeup and stuff on and some Mark Anthony argon oil stuff so that's all that I have in here so here's an update for you totally got lost in Chadburn yeah yeah I don't know I, that's the second time I never go to Chadburn and I just I had my GPS on and I still managed to get lost both times because I don't have service there it's like I'll accidentally turn down one road or something and it'll be rerouting and it, it's like it doesn't catch up as fast but I tell you what this way that I'm going um, oh and another reason too is because the main road that I was going on was closed why is this sign say detour All of these blessed roads are closed, but I'm not going that way, I don't think. Yeah, I'm so confused. Anyway, excuse me. I completely devoured my McDonald's. I got a 10 piece nugget and a fry. And I ate all the fries before I got lost. And I ate five nuggets before I got lost again. And I just finished the nuggets. So. But, like I was saying, on this route that I'm going, because this was not my first choice since the road was detoured because it was being worked on, um, I'm seeing some nice, like, really nice houses. Like, I love looking at houses. It's, like, my favorite thing ever. So, I think my phone will be talking to me here shortly. In a quarter mile, turn left onto US 76 West. Okay, US 76 West. I got this. We got this. Okay, so I got here a lot sooner than I thought I was. <laughs> Like, maybe not even a minute after I stopped filming, but, um, here's the thing. It's at a high school, which is, you know, completely normal because, you know, they have auditoriums and stuff that's pretty decent size for pageants. Um, I don't know where, I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to be going. I'm trying to figure out if I was an auditorium, where would I be? And there is not anyone whatsoever already here if i was an auditorium i would be located please don't fall on top of my vehicle um what's columbus high where you auditorium at 
Somebody! Anybody! <laughs> Y'all remember what Disney movie that's off of? Comment down below if you know. If you know, we're best friends. Somebody! Anybody! God, that thing scared the living crap out of me. I'm going to have to go back and look at my facial expression. I'm going to show y'all what scared me. Oh, I see this man knelt down. That is not a real man. <laughs> that is a statue man. But I promise you, I thought it was a real man out here with me. I was about to have a heart attack. A heart attack. God. Look here, fella little fella you just scared the living daylights out of me okay so there is a store across the street wish me luck I'm going in to use the restroom I'm back at the school we will not speak of the gas station bathroom we will not speak of it I'm here with Jaylen. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> this is her opening number. Spin around. Let them see. This is, tell me the name of the pageant, please. The Watermelon Festival pageant. There we go. We're ready. So, okay. Okay. she's going. Here we go. Uh, yeah. We're back. <laughs> tell them what you're getting ready for. I'm getting ready for talent. So I'm gonna be singing somewhere over the rainbow. She kills it. Uh, kills it is an understatement. K I L L S I T. <laughs> she can spell guys. <laughs> so Her outside her hand. Sip your tea. Ew, what is that tea? Yeah. <laughs> Literally. For the benefits of eating watermelon. Yeah, watermelon is a huge part of our family tradition during the summertime. There are many benefits of eating watermelon. There are many vitamins in a watermelon, such as vitamin C, which helps your immune system. It also has nutrients, which helps in forming free radicals and present cancer. Thank you. Jaden is the daughter of Stephanie Thomas and John Hunt of Lumberton, North Carolina. She attends Lumberton. Okay, guys. Crowning is about to start. Um, Jaden just went back. For those of you that have never done a pageant, this part, no matter how big or small a pageant is, is very important. Um, you can take a lot away from this part of the pageant so hopefully no matter the outcome she will learn from this process you know and just um be able to take the things from that she's learned here and just apply them to future things whether they're pageants or not so let's go sit in the audience and let's see what happens the new 2016-2017 teen miss watermelon Contestant number three, Rebecca. <laughs> okay, guys, and it's over. As you've seen, um, Jade Lund did not bring the crown home, but so many people come up to her after um, talking about her talent. And I hope I got good enough footage for her for you to hear her sing. She's singing my wedding. 
the first time I ever heard her sing, I told her immediately, and she might have been maybe 10 years old, <laughs> and I told her, you're singing at my wedding. I don't care how long it'll take for me to get married. I don't care how old you are. You're going to sing at my wedding. And she sang at my wedding. She sang the song when I walked down the aisle. And that's what I always wanted her to do. She is super talented. Um, I'm trying not to like get emotional because I just see so much of myself in her. And um, I did a lot of stuff. I did a lot of pageants growing up. I started doing pageants when I was 10. And um, it really molded me and shaped me into the person that I am today. It helped me with public speaking. Um, surprisingly enough, I was a little shy when I was younger. I know it's hard to believe now but pageants really did bring me out of that and a lot of people look at pageants so negatively and they don't see the good that comes out of these pageants and um, I just really want her to never you know let a, a loss you know defeat her or let it define who she is because she's so much more than just that crown no matter if you get it or not you are so much more than that and um, yeah i enjoy these things like i said you know crowning is a it's a really big deal but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed getting to see you know behind the scenes um getting to see how everything works and getting to see me in my element and what i love doing i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i'm going to get on the road it is 9 33 so i should be home about 10 15 10 30 i'm going to stop and get me and cody something to eat in whiteville I'm out of breath. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, definitely hit the like button if you enjoyed seeing Jadelyn. That's all I have for you, for you guys on this vlog. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, night, whatever time it is you're watching this. Uh, hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day. And thanks for watching.